All right, everybody, welcome back. And today we are going to, we're in GE damage here and we're gonna get into the next way of dealing damage. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our modifiers and just trash can it because we're not gonna use a modifier. We're gonna use an execution. So we're gonna hit plus and it gives us this calculation class, which we have none. So that means we need to come to our C++ classes, RPG, we do ability system right here, new C++ class. If I come to here, I can say execution calculation, and it says gameplay effect execution calculation. And we just say exec calc, and I say damage. Exec calc for short, so we say exec calc in the... Uh, the folder make this now the execution calculation has to be done a specific way so the only two things we need in the header file we need a public section the first we need is a u exec calc damage constructor and then we need to just override one function which is virtual virtual void execute implementation and I don't remember, these are F gameplay effects, custom execution parameters, and custom execution outputs. I don't remember the name of this writer, just auto fills it in for me. I love it. Which, if anybody cares, JetBrains Writer is now free. They released it free for everybody in non commercial use. So if anybody here is just learning and doing all this stuff, and you want this nice IDE like I use that does all the IntelliSense way better than Virtual Studio, then. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, looking at the free free license for this. But anyway, not hashtag ad. They didn't pay me for that. I just really like writer. So we're gonna do what we're gonna do again. Something that Lyra does when we do an an execution calculation. Lyra does this really well, and it just makes a lot of sense, and it kind of puts everything together. So we're going to come here and we're going to declare a struct, not a struct, just a regular struct, and we're going to call it RPG Damage Statics. And we're going to make a body for it where I'm going to make an RPG Damage Statics default constructor. Now, inside here we're going to do some Unreal Engine macro magic where we're capturing attributes, right? We're, we're now getting to the point where we're going to gather these attributes to make them do something all together so we're gonna want one section for the source captures and we'll want one line for the target captures but the thing is is if we look at our attribute set we don't really have anything to capture and when you're applying damage it's kind of bad if you think about it to just apply it directly to the health right we don't want to just capture the guy's health so then we could just directly uh, impact the health so it's very common in gas to use what's called meta attributes so we're going to make a non-replicated attribute it's just going to be an f gameplay attribute data and this will be called incoming health damage give it a u property and this will not be blueprint read only or replicated, but I still will get the attribute accessors for the URPG attribute set incoming health damage. So now that I have this incoming health damage on the attribute set, we can come back in our execution calculation and we want this incoming meta attribute off the target. Right? We don't want it off the source because the damage that we're going to be sending to is we're going to be sending it to the to the target, not the source. So the first thing we're going to say is before the default constructor up here above it, we're going to say declare attribute capture def. And we are just going to declare incoming health damage. That's it. And then now we're going to come inside the default constructor and the second macro is going to be define attribute capture death and in order to do that we need the attribute set that it belongs to which is the urpg attribute set it'll include that and then the property we're looking for is the incoming incoming health damage 
and it just needs to be incoming health damage like that. Uh, we are capturing it off the target. And the last one is a boolean for snapshotting. True or false? I don't think it... I, it's up to you if you want to snapshot and uh, any of your attributes, but I don't. I don't think there's a point to. But so now that we have this target capture, oh, we can we can even say source source defines, and then target defines. And now that we've got this, and I've got this capture thing, we're gonna make just a function here. It's gonna be a static const rpg damage statics return reference and we'll just call it damage statics like this make a function body and we're going to make a static rpg damage statics and we'll call it d statics and then we'll just simply return d statics and why do that is because this is a static variable and a static function so this variable will just exist for all time and hold that data so every time you reuse this execution calculation it's reusing the same captured uh, attributes and everything so it's just it's a performance thing i like it and then now we're in the constructor so we are going to say source captures and target captures and in the target captures so inside this execution there's just this thing that's called relevant attributes to capture and you just grab that relevant and then you just call dot add and you're gonna find what you want inside the damage statics and then you say dot and we're looking for the incoming health damage depth that's the definition right the capture definition so we're gonna capture this capture definition for the incoming health so now we get into the execute implementation we're just gonna get rid of super here and we're just gonna keep it basic for the beginning so we have access to this execution params which is full of data so the first thing we're gonna want to grab is uh, we're gonna take a const f gameplay effect spec by reference and we'll call it effect spec and we'll set that equal to the execution params that has the get owning spec. And now that I have the effect spec, we're going to use that set by caller magnitude. We're just going to call it the raw damage magnitude now, right? So we are already using it. So we can say get raw damage value. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to say float damage. And we're going to set that equal to the spec or effect spec dot get set by caller magnitude as a function. And then all it needs is the tag name. And that is going to be the RPG gameplay tags, combat, data damage. And then that will pull when we apply this gameplay effect, that will pull that data damage off there and give it to us right there. Now, what is kind of common practice is to make sure we never get below zero if we don't want to go below zero. What you could say is set damage equal to F math and then fully qualify max. And max takes a parameter, so we'll call it a float. And I want the max, I want the highest value. What's the highest value? Damage or 0.F. So I'll never get anything below zero. Whatever is more is zero or, or damage. Now this is kind of all we really have to work with right now. So what we're going to say is if damage is greater than 0.f, then we are going to say the out execution output. Then we call dot add output modifier. And you need to just construct an F gameplay modifier evaluated data and then put your parentheses to construct it. And you construct it by passing in your damage statics, damage statics dot incoming health damage property is the first one is the property. And then it needs the uh, E gameplay mod op. And what you want to do is add to it 
we're not going to override it we're just going to add to the incoming health damage property and the magnitude is just going to be damaged so this basic setup here will essentially do the same thing that we're doing now in the set by caller right we don't have much more than a get set by caller thing here but we're going to change that so the thing is is now when this is done it's going to add this output modifier to the incoming health damage which means back in our attributes in the attribute set we need to we're going to say if data dot evaluated data attribute equals get incoming health damage attribute and we're just going to write a function and oh excuse me we're going to write a function and it's just a private function and it'll be void handle incoming health damage and it will take a const oof const f gameplay effect mod callback data by reference called data and we can generate a definition for that because then we're just going to say handle incoming health damage passing through the data. So now that I'm here and I can just write in this function, I could just write in this function. What we want to do is we're going to make a float and this will be called local damage. And we're going to set that equal to get incoming health damage. And then we're going to instantly set incoming health damage to 0.f and zero it out. And for now, the only thing we really need to do is we're going to set health. And that's going to be to an F math clamp. And the value that we're clamping is get health, subtract from the local damage. Ooh, excuse me. Subtract local damage. And we're clamping that between 0.f and get max health. And I suppose this could be const for now. But if we do that there, then realistically, this modifying health, we should really avoid using modifying health this way. We can we can do this here in in the incoming health damage attribute instead. So let's take a second, recompile, and see you in the editor. Okay, so now that we're back in the editor, what all we have to do is come into our GE GE damage. Let's make this a little come into the GE damage and come into the executions. And in the calculation class, now we're gonna have exact calc damage. We're just gonna select exact calc damage, and that's all we have to do. However, before we were doing times negative one to subtract. But in our exact calc, we say if the damage is greater than zero, right? So we need to set the magnitude to this data damage greater than zero to start doing all this stuff. So now instead of negative one, we'll just flip it to one. So everything's just positive numbers, right? So your damage is 10 and it will still subtract 10, right? So you could do that. So then we're just going to come in here we'll shrink this down a little bit get on this client ability level 23 and we're going to shoot him and it's taking chunks of his health down look at that ability level 7 that's not doing any damage ability level 23 now he's dead and we're just using this simple damage calculation for that but this really isn't fun a lot, so in the next one, let's make this a lot more fun.